left Sakhmadilike that you can see on the distance to Tomonskai. Before we go visit the crazy house, let's take a dip. It's a scorching hot day, beautiful conditions, and I'm itching to see some beautiful coral. Margarita's scared of tiny little birds, but whenever there's a shark about, she goes and chases it. Go figure. We had a bit of an excitement. We went to bed quite early, around 8, and now we are half past 11. And anchor alarm, not of a sudden, started bang, 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 bang. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to get up. Just well, a malfunction. It was, Peter it, will. It was, yeah. Yeah, Peter will do it. Yeah, my uh, anchor alert occasionally... Um, gives an erroneous result and uh, there's nothing wrong. It's been doing that once a night for the last week. Yeah. So um, we're completely surrounded by coral, except on the nor'east where there's a channel coming into this little uh, bay. And uh, the forecast is supposed to be easterly. The only winds that are crap for us here are north-easters or nor'easters. 
Well, guess what? We just had this uh, little cell come through. Uh, it was from the Nor Nor East and it blew its tits off. It um, created such a uh, large chop that the anchor hook, for some reason, it must have pulled it forward and it came yeah. off. Now, I've never had that happen before. And the anchor chains just started just freewheeling through the winch. And Margarita's going, it's, it's, it's going through the winch. Then he the turned, wind's howling. He turned off the, the anchor alarm and said, oh, everything is okay. No, everything. no more noise. And then I started oh, hearing, because the anchor, um, how you say, the anchor, the anchor chain where it goes is right where our room is, so I can hear. Then I started going, saying, oh no, the chain is going. Yeah. Anyway, so I got the motor started, take some pressure off the chain. The trouble is... Our reference, how do you do a reference at night? Even with a chart plotter, you got no lights. Um, it's hard to maintain the direction. You keep an eye on the compass, but everything moves so slowly that to keep your pressure off, you don't know where you're actually going. I was just literally anyway, useless. Because uh, I, I didn't know where to aim for. Go that way, go that way. I don't know where yeah, to go. We needed a lot of strength. Anyway... We managed we to get it. another hook on because yeah. we've got two. Um, and um, now we can go back to sleep. Well, no, not quite. We don't exactly know where we are in the bay because we have dragged. It's, it's got this turtle grass everywhere. We've probably dragged about 20 meters. Now there is a isolated bombing here, but to start trying to find that at night, or even to go back to our other anchor spot, which is probably about 40, 50 meters that way. It's only a tiny bay. We're re it's really tight. So we can't. We just have to <laughs> just have a live with it until the morning and see what the problem is. Yes, I am chasing this poor little fish. But what I really wanted to show you was how lush this grass is. Anchors do not like this so much. More often than not, they lay on their side and they will slide across. Even the good old rockner. But sometimes it sets. It's better to set it yourself by physically swimming down and putting the point in or find a sand spot and that sometimes that's pretty difficult. Upon the invitation made on the previous day, we pay a visit to the Kong house and meet the owners Donna and Dale. Quite finished the shower and bathroom area. Oh, wow. Lovely. Um, so I'm, I'm working on the electrical this, this week. And, uh, Donna makes the honors and shows their house. We have to build to keep it going. We're builders, so we're looking at it all. Still time. building. Yeah, we have to be builders day we die. And you wake up every day. Yeah. With this year. Yep. Let's check the first floor. Sandbar with just a shack on it. Yeah, tar paper shack and a, and a sandbar. And then this is you see this is the same tree out there. Our right. tree. Oh. Yeah. And we planted the the. Um, oh, it was full of you put it so much trees. Yeah. And they died now with the time. No, uh, they just gotten taller. See, this is it now. 
There's the bird tree again here yeah. at our job, and then see that they're taller. This is when we were building and it had scaffolding. I, I need to do some more pictures. <laughs> this is, we didn't think there was any sand on that island over there, but now it looks like this. See, we got, there's a big building over there. We picked up the rocks. Here it is, here you can see it there. That's what this island looked like when we got it. Really? Oh, yeah. There was not even a single tree there. No, nothing. Just sand and that dark plastic. And that, plastic and, that, and that was how long ago? We've had it 15 years. Wow. So we haven't been on this one. We've been working on this in about five or six years. It's, um, well, that was it. <laughs> And the other island looked like this. It's yeah, just it was a full of rubbish stuff. too. Yeah, it's just a garbage dump. And this is just the fish remains that would come yeah. fish, spend here yeah. tonight, and go the next day. Well, the other, we didn't think there was any sand on that island. Yeah. When we got it, because it was just covered with rocks and crap and junk, and so we found out when we could do it. It did. <laughs> it worked. What's your hiding behind your beautiful head? It's a beautiful tiny island. This couple got the lease for the island for 99 years and imagine what they pay, 300 Belizean dollars, there's 150 American dollars per year. Per, year, per year, that's cheap as. Let's take one more look for what 150 American dollars buy per year. This is the other island that we saw in the picture. It also belongs to Donna and Dale, but they have leased it to a dive research center. So we leave Tomo and Kay and we head south and run into the tiniest little island right at the end of the Southern Barrier Reef. How good is this? We could have got the boat closer, I just didn't want to wreck another boat. Own tiny little island. Bloody great. And look at all the garbage. There's tons of it. And this will be my new home if I ever lose this boat. Well, actually, come to think of it, it's facing west. Never go in a place facing west. It's too hot. Because no one comes to this island, barely anyone. I found this precious shell. Look how beautiful it is. It's all new. It hasn't faded the colors. That's the nicest looking shell ever. Really nice. Then we got this one too. That's still in pretty good shape. At least the colors too. Just need to scrub a bit. They're nice. 
I think they do the hole here to take the... Um, how you call it? Conch. The, the conch that is inside. I don't know if they eat them or what they do with it, but probably. This is what Margarita was waving about. This is one strange looking sea snake. And here's the outboard motor that we used to. Only a quarter of a horsepower, but it gets us there. Oh, come on! <laughs> 